Hello, wicked friends. Sean and I are back, and we are going to be doing a pizza by the slice review. Let's eat some pizza. Yes. Hungry. So our first stop today is at Solarzano's Pizza in Gulf Gate, Sarasota, Florida area. We've been here before. They have amazing pizza. We figured we'd start it out with a place we are already kind of familiar with, but let's go in and have a slice. All right, Solarzano's Pizza. This is what it looks like on the outside. We can get a slice to go. Hi. Just doing a cheese? Yep. Alright. Garlic knots. Thank you. Alrighty, there's our slice. It came to $4.78 for a slice. Sean's gonna take the first bite and see how it is. My face off. Is it hot, hot? Mm -hmm. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's piping hot. Alright, so this is good. The crust is nice and crispy. They throw it in the oven real quick before you, before they serve it to you, but it is hot. Yeah, they have a great selection in there. Mm -hmm. They've always, we used to get our haircuts down here, so we, Jameson would always come over here for a slice. Mmm, it's really hot, but it's good. Nice, like quick, if you're in the area, you know, nice, quick, it didn't but take long at parking, all. Parking could be an issue on a busy day. You don't have to pay to park. Mm. So there's a lot of other shops and restaurant type places in this Gulf Gate area. There's actually a couple of roads that have shops on both sides. And there's parking everywhere that is, um, you know, you don't have to pay, but it can get busy depending on when you're here. All right, so we just went around the corner, and our next spot is here at Rico's Pizzeria. This Rico's you, are everywhere as well. Same for Solarzano's. Solarzano's. They have multiple locations. Yep. So yes, this is Rico's Pizza by the Slice. We're gonna check this one out. This yeah. All righty. Just by looks, this one looks better than Solarzano, and I've never had Rico's ever. We've never ordered them. So we, I'm, I'm very curious. The so, inside is so cool. Yeah, it's cool on the inside. So the total was six sixty eight, and it's don't, because don't we also the got the soda. So, because we needed a drink. But he was nice enough, and he cut a full slice in half for us, so we get to share. Okay. Is okay. it good? Mm -hmm. This one is, this one takes the lead. Okay. 100%. Let's try. Through the bottom, the bottom's a great shade. Mm. That cheese. Mm hmm. Nice, salty. Yep. Mm hmm. No, I like this, the, the spices in it. Mm -hmm. It's not spicy, but a little bit of Italian. I wonder if it's coal fire just by the bottom. Mm. Nice crispiness. The inside is like a, a classic, like Boston type yeah. pizza spot. Mm -hmm. Or New York, whatever. Yeah. So this is Rico's. Literally just on the other side of where we were, the other street. One block over. Mm hmm. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Sean inhales his. Mm. Good pizza is good pizza. Yeah, cool atmosphere too in there. All right, so we headed downtown. We were in Gulf Gate before, which is another little area south of 
downtown. Yeah, it's closer to Siesta Key. We found a place to park. So this is downtown. Yeah, Patellini's Pizza. Right across the street. Probably could park on Main Street during lunchtime. Yeah, we just, we just found a two hour parking um, around the corner. So we just took what we could get. But if you're downtown, most of the time you have to pay to park down here. All right, so here it is with the red awning, Patellini's New York style pizza. And their special is two slices and a drink for $9. Okay, so took a little bit for the pizza. It was what five minute wait maybe. They don't actually, doesn't it look look like they have the pizzas by the slice out and ready. Yeah. It looks like they almost make them to order. Yeah, it took a little while, but it was only three dollars and seventy five cents for a which slice, I which is the cheapest it's been. The cheapest. Yeah, I think so. No, I didn't think I was gonna like this pizza just because of the location. I was judging it, but it looks pretty good. <laughs> is it hot hot? Well, that's good. Is it good? Yeah, that's good too. Alright, yeah. let's try it. There I it is right like there. It. It's got a is that nice salty very cheese? Very salty cheese. We're literally right on Main Street. So you can sit and watch the cars go by. There's other restaurants right next door. I wanted to eat there. Duvals. What is that? Duval's? Yeah. We ate there at Element. Element was very good. Or maybe Valentine's, I don't even know. Yeah, it's literally about two stores down. Patellini's is about two stores down from Element in downtown Sarasota. Okay, I'm gonna try this and see how it is. All right, let's see. Good, but not as good as the last place. No, nope. definitely not. It's good though. Yeah. I think this is this takes the lead over uh, Sol Rosano. Yeah. But not as good as Rico's. Okay. I think what the reason is because it's fresher here. The sauce here is a little bit more like a regular marinara, where Sol Rosano tasted just like a jar of tomato sauce. Mm. Didn't have much flavor to it, you know? Mm -hmm. No, this stuff definitely has a good flavor. It's not as salty as the last one, which I like the saltiness. Try the, try the crust, see how the crust is. So Patellini's New York style pizza was very good. All right, we're heading to our next spot which is still on Main Street, but we're gonna go back and get the car and drive down that way because it's a little bit far. I say that that place wasn't very welcoming. You almost had to like... Well, it wasn't as small town feel. Yeah. I think the other two are more like small town, which you're gonna get that feeling in Gulf Gate as opposed to being in downtown anyhow. But the, I mean, the inside is very clean and nice. It just doesn't have that New York style pizza vibe to me. Right. Um, All right, so we are at our next spot. This is three, called- four. Stop number four. Stop number four. It's called Il Panificio. Il you Panificio. Said it, not me. We've been here before. We have. Parking is tough. There's literally, I think, three spots to park. Possibly, Possibly some, in some in the back, but there's three in the front, and then there's parking on the street, but it's hard to get parking on the street because it's Main Street. Yeah. We were lucky, time of the day that we're here, it's um, almost one o'clock. We were able to park in front. So let's go in and see what they have. Il Peneficio. Now they have a lot of different options. A lot of different options. Look at that. Appreciate we're one slice of cheese. Yep. Mm -hmm. To go, please. Sure. All right. So the pizza slice was only three dollars and fifty cents, 
it ended up being a little bit more because we got another fountain soda. Gotta, get that Gotta have another Coke. All right, so this one looks good too. Thinner, a thinner, thinner crust. Thinner. But Oof. let's it's see how this one is. Melt your mouth off, I guarantee. Hot, you hot, hot. We didn't have the plain last time. What did we get when we were here last time? We I think we got pep yeah, that's what I was gonna say, pepperoni mushroom. They have a lot of different toppings pizzas here. Um, they had a spinach and ricotta that looked amazing, but in today's video we're just doing cheese. It's a true so test of a pizza. yeah, true test of a pizza is just the cheese pizza. Yeah, homage to uh, our <laughs> All right, let's see. It is hot. Definitely a different style than the last one that we just had. This one has a very tomato-y taste, doesn't it? The, toma the sauce is very tomato-y. I mean, it's a great... <laughs> trying all these different pizzas really makes you appreciate a good slice. I, I had this and I liked it a lot last time and I don't like it that much today. Yeah. This is definitely... Out of the ones we've been to, this is my least favorite mm -hmm. so far. Right, crust. Mm. Styrofoam cups. Bring them back, please. There's Sean, nothing like a Sean, soft drink in styrofoam cups. Sean has a thing for um, fountain sodas in styrofoam cups with no paper straw, plastic straws. Yep. So. Anyhow, we're on to our final stop, I'm, which is... I'm about full. Me too. We've only had... This is only four slices, but it's like two slices because we've been splitting each one. Yep. So we're going to fresh uh, mozzarella, right? Yes, fresh mozzarella. That's what open. And it's on Ringling Boulevard. And we've been there before, but they can be hit or miss. Mm -hmm. So... We're gonna see what they have for the, but we've never gotten pizza by the slice there. Right. We've only gotten full pizzas. So we're gonna try a pizza by the slice there. Yeah. We're here at Fresh Mozzarella. It is definitely hard to find parking here because two there's spots. only two spots in front and they're on the street side. So you're parking literally on the street in between the bike lane and the driving lane. So we're here though. All right, this is fresh mozzarella. All right, so we ordered our pizza and she said about five minutes for the slice. It was $3.95. They do have a dine-in area over there. All righty, so we got our slice. Oh uh -oh. boy. I don't know if we're gonna like it. Doesn't so look, weird. Because I know their regular pizza has been good before like when we've gotten pizza like a whole pizza This one looks like they threw some cheese on they top did. and just threw it in the oven Yep. Well The area probably doesn't get a lot of buy the slice type people, but they sell by the slice So you should be an order but exactly It's just not in a great area. I mean it's a long walk for downtown Sarasota to come up here and get a slice. True. There's some commerce here, but not a lot. Yeah, this is the apartment buildings, and you have the Ringling Playground, and, you know, um, you also do have Fruitville area, right one street over. But, yeah, I mean, we'll you see. You got Wawa competing with you for a 99 cent slice over there. True. All right, it sounds crispy. It's hot. Uh -huh. There it is right there. It literally looks like a piece of pizza that they threw extra mozzarella on because it was dried out yep. and then they threw it in the oven. Instead of making a new pizza. Right. Yep. It's very dry. It's it looks very, it looks dry. For a while. It looks dry and it looks um not all that appetizing. Yeah. Yeah. Not. So I would say this one is definitely at the bottom of the list. Yeah. 
I don't even want to finish it. Yeah. Want to pay? Right? Not, not right now, no. Okay. So, let's give you a ranking. Number one was Rico's. Rico's and, and Golf Gate. Gate. By far, number one, I think. Mm -hmm. Number two, I think, was Patellini's downtown. Okay. Yeah. Don't you think? Uh. Or would you put Solarzano's ahead of Patellini's? Well, it's, if there's a couple of factors. Because <laughs> if you're going to eat there, I would put Solarzano over Patellini's because... Atmosphere? Atmosphere. Okay. Pizza-wise, I think you're right. I think the, the Patellini's is better. Yes. So I guess you could put Patellini's as number two in terms of pizza, ambiance, like go Solarzano. Yes. Patellini's and Solarzano's, we should try a different Solarzano's to see, to compare the two because there is another Solarzano's. Um, there's like four of them. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Um, I would I would put Patellini's and Solorzano's about the same. They can tie for second. Yeah, tied for second. I guess it would be location. If you're right. in Siesta Key, you're going to want to do Solorzano. And if you're up near Lido or on the Sarasota side, near uh, the bridge, you're going to want to do Patellini's. Yeah. Then number three would be... This well, place down here, or well, if you're really gonna, I mean, I guess you can't tie them then. So three for me would be Catalini's, okay. With and then fourth would be that place here, El, El what is it called? Port Porcianos, yeah, something like that. The last place that we were, and then fresh mozzarella was definitely last. And the problem is, I guarantee, I know for a fact that they're. Regular pizza fresh out of the oven is very good. Yes. They 100% should not be selling by the slice because no. there's not near enough market. Right. Because um, this pizza, oh, the slice on its own was like it said it was sitting there for a long time. And they just reheat, they put some fresh mozzarella on top of it and then reheated it. Right. And it tasted like that. But when you buy a whole pizza for fresh, you know, like getting a whole pizza, it's definitely been much better. Well, if we're only judging by the slice, then they are by far last. Yeah. If we'll have to do another review and we'll judge by the pie. Yeah. Because because then I think they. And might there's end so up. many other pizza places we can try too. Yep. There's a bunch more because well, we, we didn't do even do we didn't even do any out on CS um out. So in there's a Rico's Saint out there. Armand's there's a Rico's. There's a Rico's out there. Because um, I know there's a few on St. Armand's. Yeah, but they're not. There's only two that are paid by the slice out there. One is Rico's, and we already have Rico's at one, so yeah, you can't go wrong. Just go to Rico's. Yeah, out just Armand's. go to Rico's. They've been the best. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribe. Turn on the little notifications bell so you're notified when I post new videos for the channel. We post multiple times a week, almost every day lately. So we will see you again real soon on our next video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care. She's going to yell at me as soon as we end this, this filming, just so you know, because of this parking spot here at Fresh Mozzarella. Are you going to say goodbye or are you going to give a speech? Bye.